Namaste everyone. Let's begin finding our comfortable seat, comfortable posture, sitting upright with the straight spine, chin up. Softly, gently close your eyes. Just relax or ease your body. Allow yourself to open up. Welcome to our beautiful event to follow our sadhana. It's nice to at least we can meet with each other virtually. So let's be grateful for still the opportunity that we all can create or we all can be together. And as I sort of believe, you know, that maybe there is a physical distance, but in, in our heart or in our consciousness, we all are connected. So as we're finding this space, let's just feel that that beautiful connection, the beautiful union we all have. Breathe in and out, deep and conscious. Inhaling and exhaling your breath, expanding your breath in your lower, mid and upper lobes. Let's join our hands together into Namaskar Mudra. We will chant three beautiful ohms. Feel free or you're welcome to join in if you like. Breathing in. our hands or palms together and just a nice conscious touch all over your face your head just to really create a bit of sense of awareness and and feeling the energy feeling the the consciousness and when you're ready consciously stretch your legs forward let's just begin with a little bit of vajatis relax 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 bouncing your knees Shaking your legs, wiggling your toes, flexing your feet, and then circling your feet, moving in a clockwise, and then anti-clockwise. Gently bouncing our knees, let's catch hold on to our right leg, and let's see if we can gently flex our foot from our ankle joint. Maybe we can circle it moving in a clockwise and then anti-clockwise. Let's catch hold under our knee and then circling into your knee joint. Let's change direction. Release or relax, let's change our side left leg. Just gently or consciously flexing our foot up and down, circling our foot. And then moving in opposite direction. And give it a good shake. And then release, let's take our right leg or foot up against or on top of our left leg and then gently or consciously bouncing your knee okay and we're going to catch hold on to our foot and breathe in stretch expand and open out and breathe out and release let's do two more breathe in and out and again breathe in and out and then release or relax let's change our side left foot to the right thigh or on top of your right leg and then just gently 
or consciously bounce your knee and then we hold on to our foot breathe in stretch expand open out and breathe out and release breathing in lovely you're doing really well and out and one more breathing in and then out and release and relax let's take both our feet or our soles together into bad konasana the bonded feet posture and then consciously or gently bouncing your knees and then slowly let's take our legs forward again and relax let's take our right leg or foot up against our left thigh or you can take it on top of your left leg and then clasp your hands together on top of your thigh breathe in and as you're breathing out gently creating a nice massage on your leg and let your hands move forward all the way down to your foot if you can and then breathing in return back up coming back up sitting upright Let's do twice more breathing out and reach forward and breathing in and return back up. And one more breathing out and stress forward. Let's hold on to your foot and then breathing in reach your arms over to lift up extend and breathe out and stretching forward janu sirsa kriya. Let's do two more breathe in and breathe out one more breathe in and breathe out now we do a little bit of vakra kriya so your right hand free and then breathe in swing open your right arm let's see how far back we can go and breathe out and stretch forward let's do few breaths in and out in and out and then breathing in raise your arms up to really lift up and let's release relax switch your side left foot to the right thigh or on top of right leg and then again clasp your fingers your hands and then just giving a nice massage moving forward from your thigh down to your knee all the way to your leg and then returning back up keep moving up and down i just need to enter a few more people in while you're doing that okay that's lovely and let's get hold on to a foot if we can and then breathing in reach your arms up lift up and breathe out and stretch forward twice more breathe in and breathe out lovely and again breathe in and breathe out your left arm now free swing it open vakra kriya and breathe out and stretch forward breathe in and out breathe in and out and then breathing in reach your arms up really lift up and let go and release lovely let's take our legs forward just to relax 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 and let's continue so can we take our right knee up we're going to use our hands clasp your fingers with your foot inside it so the first is stretch breathe in and can we stretch our right leg to let your heel reach on top of your left foot and then breathe out and release let's do two more breathe in and out again breathe in and out that's lovely and release switching our side so lock your hands on your left foot 
and we follow again breathe in expand your leg to take it to the left foot and out and release so simply easing and extending your spine breathe in and out again breathe in and out lovely relax let's see if you can take a little further or deeper so take your right knee up again again lock your hands with your foot inside so this time as you're breathing in draw your leg up towards your head or your chest that's lovely and breathing out release it's nice to get our foot over our head breathe in and breathe out beautiful one more breathe in and breathe out and then release or relax let's switch our side so taking your left foot in and then when you're ready stamba masana breathe in and out breathe in and out breathe in and out and then release relax Gently bounce your knees and let's just bounce forward now into Paschimottan Kriya. Gently lengthening your spine, stretching or expanding forward, chin up. You can slightly bend your knees if you need to. And then breathing in and raise your arms up to lift up. And breathe out and stretch forward. Twice more, breathe in, lift up and breathe out and stretch one more breathe in and breathe out and stretch and then breathing in take your arms up let's interlock our fingers bring your hands on top of your head and then breathe in turn your palms inside out stretch stretch and lift up and breathe out bring your hands back on your head to really appreciate Bring that love, that blessing, breathing in again, stretch, and then breathing out and down. Let's do one more, breathe in, this time really lift up, and then release. Now let's take our hands behind, your fingers pointing back to you if you can. Fold your right leg, so your right foot comes on floor with the left knee, or Pratip Hala Kiriya. So can we now breathe in, press on your hands to lift your buttocks and your back up, Maybe we can take our left foot to touch to the floor, head back, and then breathe out and release. That's lovely. Let's do twice more. Breathe in, up, out, and release. And again, breathe in, and out. And then switch your sides. And then let's begin again. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in. Out. And one more. Breathe in. And out. That's lovely. Let's just turn around, come up on all fours if you like. On your hands and your knees into four-fitted Chatuspadasana. And in your four-fitted, just gently move side to side, giving a really nice massage on your knees and your groin area. If you need a bit of soft padding under your knees, feel free to ease yourself. If that feels nice, then you start to flex on your arms, your elbows, taking it a little deeper. Or maybe you can start moving in a big circle, moving back, coming forward. Keep going. And then we change direction. That's lovely. Now let's return back to all fours in four-fitted Satuspadasana. So we want to begin with conscious Vyagra Pranayama or the tiger breathing. Breathe out here, when you're ready. Breathe in, dip your spine down, lift your head up, arch your back. 
and breathe out lift up from the middle draw your belly in and chin into your chest let's keep following breathe in dip down and open up and out in and out one more in and out lovely you're doing really well okay now from four come back to four fitted let's see if we can tuck our toes on the floor so we're going to do a little bit more deeper movement on our knees and shoulders so can we Breathe in, press your toes and then gradually press your heels back to the floor. Meru asana, head moving down too. And then release without breath. Back to four fitted. So let's follow a few rounds. Breathe in. And breathe out. Again, breathe in. And breathe out. One more, breathe in, hold here for a moment, lovely, and then release. Let's just gently let go, so press your hips back on your heels, head down to the floor, towards Sasankasana or the rabbit pose. From here, we're going to move into Bhujanga Kirya, so with in breath, bring your head up, gently come forward on your elbows, then your arms straight, and then stretch forward into cobra as you're breathing out let's return back moving all the way back consciously to relax so let's do two more breaths breathing in come up and stretch lovely and then breathing out let go and release or relax let's just gently come back to all fours again so from our Vyagra Pranayama, Tiger Breathing, we're going to try to do our Sarva Kirya. Right leg, breathe in, raise your right leg and your head up to stretch, stretch, and then breathe out. Just allow your knee to come back down. Can we alternate our legs? So left leg next, breathe in and lift up. And then breathe out and release. Let's do twice more, breathing in right leg up. And then breathe out and release. Again, left leg, breathe in. Out and release. One more, right leg, breathe in. Out and release. And then left leg, breathe in. Out and release. Okay, we follow the same with our arms, so your right arm, breathe and lift your arm up straight over to the front and then breathe out and release. Let's continue, breathe in, lift your arm up and then breathe out and release. One more, breathe in and out and release. If you are alternating, carry on alternating, otherwise left arm, breathe in and up, and out and release. Breathe in, and out, breathe in, and then out. Let's just gently let go and relax into Sasankasana. Let's come back to all fours so we can expand our practice a little further with the Tsiri Kirya. So from four fitted, right leg, can we breathe in and raise our right leg up, take your head up, arch, and then breathing out, drawing your head and knee together. Maybe some of us just want to bring our knee down to the floor, that's fine. Two more, breathing in and raise your leg to arch up, and then breathing out, head to the knee, Tsiri Kirya. One more, breathe in, and then out. 
and then release okay let's do the left leg together when you're ready breathing in raise your leg arch your back and then breathing out head and knee together continue breathe in and out breathe in and out lovely knee down so we're going to follow the same kriya with your arm so right arm when you're ready breathe in take your arm over from side to the sky and as you're breathing out take your right hand out and down to the left side and then look under your arm keep following breathe in and out breathe in and out One more, breathe in and out, and then release. Switching our sides. Let's follow with the left arm when you're ready. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in. and out one more breathe in and out lovely and again just let go and release or relax into our sasan kasan okay let's come up to seated position when you're ready have a sip of water if you need really important to keep ourselves nice and hydrated as yes, we doing quite a bit of our hip and shoulder movement see if we can open a little bit more further if you like so shall we try to come up on our kneeling position see if you feel comfortable please do make sure you use something under your knees if you need to and then step your left foot forward and you're going to follow a couple of variations to really open our hips and open our chest so take your hands on top of your left knee you can clasp your hands breathe out when you ready breathe in let's see can we come forward and down into the lunge hold for few breaths lovely breathe you are doing really well and then release okay let's switch our side our legs right foot forward again your hands on top of your right knee to support and then come forward and arch your back chin up if you like to Hold here for few breaths, and then release. Let's do second variation. Just stay where you are. So take your arms to side now, if you feel comfortable. So and then come forward into the lunge again, and really go as deep as you can. Open your arms a little to open your chest, your shoulders, and then release. Okay, let's switch our sides. switching our legs arms to side breathe out and then breathe in come forward into the lunge and arch back take a moment here and then release let's do third variation hands to your heart namaskar if you like to and then breathe in come forward into the lunge and arch back lovely and release let's just counter balance so can we have our left leg straight and then take your hands on to the floor at your front foot and then let's bring our head or chin over our knee and hold there beautiful and let go and release let's switch our sides hopefully it's comfortable on your knees and really keep going as far as it is safe for you as there is no competition between us so right foot forward hands to heart breathe out when you're ready breathe in come forward into the lunge arch back and hold for few conscious breaths and then release right leg straight bring your hands on the floor 
to really do a nice counter forward stretch and breathe. Okay, let's come back up as we all doing really well. So that means we can carry on to go a little bit further deeper into the posture. If you're comfortable now, take your hands over your head into Anjali Mudra and then breathe in and come forward into the lunge. Take your arms slightly back if you like to. Beautiful and hold here. And release. Now your right leg is straight again. Now you can either have your hands on the floor close to your right foot or some of you may want to bring your hands behind. Interlock your fingers and then stretch over. Lovely and breathe. And then release, return back up. And then switch your sides. So our left foot forward, taking our arms over into Anjali Mudra, look up. And then gently come forward, down into the lunge, arch back. Breathe here. and then release now your left leg straight your hands can be on the floor maybe some of you want to bring your hands behind your back interlock your fingers and then stretch over just to remember doing your best and leaving the rest and release lovely come back and let's just ease ourselves come into comfortable cross-legged sukhasana for a little bit again have a sip of water important to keep us hydrated so sitting straight we're going to do a little bit of side stretching so what I'm going to do I'm going to turn sideways to make the space if you all want to see what we're doing and then we will do three times together so I'm going to take my hands on the floor to both sides and as I'm breathing in, what I'm going to do, I'm going to allow my right arm to come down or elbow to come down on the floor and stretching the left arm over and then breathing out, returning back up. And then the second breath we will do to the left side. So let's begin. Hands or your fingers touching to the floor and then breathe out. So right side. Thank you for demonstrating Surya. Breathing in, take your arm <laughs> over to stretch and breathe out and come back up to release. <clears throat> Lovely, all doing really well. Breathe in left side, right arm up and then breathe out and release. Let's keep going, right side again, breathe in and breathe out. Left side, right arm up, breathe in, and then out, right side, left arm up, and then out, left side, right arm up, breathe in, and then out, okay, now just Allow your left arm or your, your lower arm, your elbow to come down on the floor. Free your right leg. So we can hold on to the foot. You can hold on to your trouser or your leg. And then breathe in and stretch your leg up to the side. And breathe out and release. Lovely. You're doing really well. Let's do two more. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Okay, let's switch our side, come down onto your right side and then hold on to your left leg or your foot and then follow, breathing in, stretch and out and release, breathe in and out, in and out and then release, let's come back down. Sit straight. Sit straight and cross-legged Sukhasana for a moment. So we're going to do a little bit of our Navakriya to really activate our solar plexus or the solar energy. So can we all bring our legs or feet to the front and then hold under your knees or your legs. Feet floating up. Breathe out. 
if you are ready breathe in let's see stretch our legs forward and then breathe out and release two more breathe in and out breathe in and out and again breathe in and out lovely feet on the floor now let's take our both legs into our left arm give it a nice hug and then take your right hand behind to create a really nice conscious twist look over your shoulder and hold there for a few breaths and then release let go and switch your side twisting to the left and release let go let's take our practice a little further so your feet up again this time bring your hands to your heart if some of you might feel you want to support yourself that's fine and then breathing in stretch and extend your legs and your arms forward and breathe out and release that's lovely two more breathe in and out breathe in and out Let's see if we can stretch our arms over our head. So breathe in and legs forward and out. In and out. In and out. And then release. Let's just stretch forward into Paschimottanasana just to counterbalance your energy. Breathe into your forward stretch. Relax, come back to your cross-legged Sukhasana again. If you like to sit straight, really being on your sitting bones and can we just move side to side in our space. Creating a little movement in your hips and massage around your thighs, your knees. Lovely. Maybe we can move in a little bit of circle. Few rounds clockwise and then few rounds anti-clockwise. Okay, let's take our legs to the front again if you all are ready. So for our next Navakirya, can we bring our legs up? You can either hold on to your legs or you can hold on to your trousers, your feet up and then Breathe in and expand your legs forward and breathe out and release. Doing our best, leaving the rest. Breathe in and out. Again, breathe in and then out. And then release. Let's feet go. out. Sorry, drop your knees out to side, joining soles of your feet together. You can bring your heels as close as you can to your your perineum area and let's just do a little bit of our titli kiri again bounce your knees just to prepare us for our few prana mudra the energy gestures we want to really draw the energy inward just beginning our sadhana together to tune with our own body then our collective space our collective energy now bring your hands to your heart press your knees down breathe out can we Breathe in, raise your arms up, Anjali Mudra and look up. As we're breathing out, we take our left hand down first and then right hand on top to create the Garuda Mudra. And hold here for a moment. Release, up into Anjali Mudra again, raise your arms over. And this time we're going to take our left hand on top. Lovely, and then release. Or relax gently and slowly bring your knees up stretch or expand your legs forward relax let's give it a really good relax alternate your knees up and down if you like especially the navasana variations they really sort of stimulate and sometimes can flare up any tension in our thighs or hips and pelvic area Okay, so let's catch hold on to our right foot. So you can hold on to your foot, you can hold on to your big toe, and then breathe out. So 
The first step, breathe in, stretch your leg forward. Really sitting upright, take your left arm over. Hold here for a breath. See if we can not let our foot turn sideways. Keep it active and straight. And then release. Now, open your right leg out to the side. Okay, left arm away. Hold there for a few breaths. Lovely, and then release. Now, can we bring our foot up towards our chest, our head, or the ear? And hold here for a moment. And then release or relax. Let's give it a good stick, relax. Let's change our side, left foot, hold on to your foot or your big toe and extend it forward, right arm up. Breathe, really lifting up your energy, bringing that deep, conscious healing prana. Let it flow in. And then release. Open your leg out to the side. That's okay, right arm away. And hold there. And release. And you want to bring your foot up towards your ear if you can. To our Akarana Dhanurasana. And then release. Oh, relax. Let's give it a good relax, relax, relax. Okay, let's come back to all fours again. So we come back to where we left. So a few more kriyas for our hip and pelvic loosening together. So we're going to try to do our first step into Raj Kapotasana, something we'll build together. So can we breathe in and take our right leg up, slightly bend your knee. So if you're trying to point your foot back to your head. And as you're breathing out, allow your knee to come on the floor and really stretch and arch back as far as you like. And let's keep following, breathing in leg up and arch up. And breathe out. That's lovely. And one more, breathe in. And out. And then release. So you follow with the left arm when you're ready. Breathe in, sorry, left leg. And then breathe out, bringing your knee on the floor. So first step into Raj Kapodasana. Keep going in. And out. And breathe in. And out. Lovely. Let's come back to all fours when you're ready. So from all fours, can we move up back up into Meru Asana? So your legs are straight, heels pressing back to the floor if possible. Breathe here. If you feel comfortable, can we breathe in and take our right leg up to the sky and breathe out, bring your knee on the floor. So we're doing the same kriya again, but from the Meru Asana, Rajkapota Kriya. So your knee on the floor between your arms, head up. Let's do a few rounds. Breathing in, right leg up again. And breathing out, take your right knee on the floor forward. Oh, that's lovely. Again, breathe in. And out. Let's just stay here for a moment. So we can try a little bit of hand variation. Can we breathe in and take our right arm up? and then breathe out and release. Then left arm, breathe in, take it up, arch back, and then breathe out and release. Some of you might want to try both arms. If you need to leave it, that's fine. And then release. And then gently unfold back into Meruas. Okay, take a moment. You're going to follow three rounds with the left leg now. So breathe in, take your leg up. And then breathing out knee on the floor between your arms. Let's do a few breaths in. Out. Breathe in. One more, 
breathe in out lovely so this time we hold here just to do our arm variations when you're ready right arm breathing in and raise it up and breathe out and release left arm breathe in raise it up and then out and release both arms together if you like to and then out and release return back to Meruasana take a moment here And then ease yourself, your knees down. And then untucking your toes to rest back in Kasana. Gently and slowly come back up to your seated position to sit straight. And when you're ready, let's just ease our legs. Stress them or extend them forward. Just relax, relax. So we'll do our six rounds of Setu Pranayama and then we will do a couple of rounds of Kati Chakrasana and then I will guide you all through a nice relaxation. So let's lie down. If some of you might want to see, that's fine. You can just watch for a moment. So we're lying with our knees on the floor close to our buttocks, hands down towards feet. So you can choose the variation, the simplest one. You breathe in and raise your buttocks up. Maybe you can lock your hands under on the floor and raise your heels up. And then without breath, you want to release your body back down. So find your space, choose the variation. We will do six conscious breaths. Breathe out. Breathe in gently, float up. Moving all the way on your tiptoes. And then breathe out and release. Let's keep going. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in and out. Let's stretch our legs straight now. Let's take a moment. Now, if you can, take your left knee up, so pointing up to the sky. Use your right hand and then let's see if you can press your knee all the way over to the right side to the floor. Head looking to the left. Kati Chakrasana. We want to hold here for a few deep conscious breaths in our spine. Lovely, and then let go and release. Stretch your leg down. Take your left knee up, use your right, sorry, right knee up, use your left hand, and take your knee all the way on the floor to the side. Head looking out to the right. One side you might be able to touch your knee, other side you might struggle, like always find the right knee or the right side a little stiff. And then release. And relax. Let's take our both knees up again. So both your knees pointing up. Now we're going to do a little bit of hip opening here. So you can both again if you like to. So can we take our hands onto the lower abdominal or pelvic area. And then breathe in. Drop your knees out to both sides. Your soles of your feet join together. And once you get into the position, press your feet, your soles as strong as you can against each other. And just hold there. And then just simply ease yourself, knees back up, and stretch your legs straight. Okay, we're going to complete our practice with Pavana Mukta Kiriyas. So what we want to do is in breath, you want to come all the way up to seated position, bringing your head and your knee together. And then without breath, we're going to hush our breath, and then gently roll back to Savasana like this. So you can see, 
So here. So you're going to do three rounds with the right and three with the left. Right leg, breathe in. Coming all the way up to seated position and letting go. Again, in. One more, breathe in. Left leg in. In. So that's lovely now it's just time to consciously let go and release relax and I'm going to guide you through a little bit of conscious breathing in your relaxation if you need a blanket or something to make yourself comfortable and see if you all can keep yourself with me for a couple of more minutes just to guide you through breathing Once I guide you through our relaxation, then I will let you all go. So you can really have your relaxation as long as you like. Or some of you might feel you want to still do a few more postures before or maybe after relaxation. So you know the practice. And then here yeah, I will see you all tomorrow morning after relaxation. Thank you again for joining in. I'm really happy to see you all. So let me guide you through and then yeah, I will leave you in relaxation because it is your place so you can relax as long as you need. So let go of your body, let go of your any of the physical tension, just let go and relax. So what I like you to do is just gently or consciously bring your mind to focus on your breathing and you're going to follow Savitri Redham Pranayama 6363. We want to do it with the diaphragmatic or the lower abdominal or the one part of the sectional breathing. So when you're breathing in, I like you to really expand your abdominal, your diaphragmatic, your belly area, your lower lungs. And then we hold it in as you're breathing out. We're going to try to consciously press our belly in, try to lift it up and then hold out. And then gradually we will let it go. So breathe out. Breathing and expand your breath and your belly. Hold two, three, out two, three, four, five, six. Hold two, three, in. Hold. Out. Hold. In, hold, out, hold, in, hold, out. In, hold, out, hold. Now I'd like you to keep following this beautiful breathing on your own. And with the breathing now, move your mind from your solar plexus or your abdominal area through your whole body so can you breathe in and visualize your beautiful prana your conscious energy the light is entering from top of your head your crown and it's flowing down through your body and below your feet and without breath that same energy flows from your soles of your feet up through your body and you can keep following the savitri rhythm where you breathe in hold and breathe out hold out so breathing in from head to feet and holding. 
breathing out from feet to head and hold up. Keep following, breathing in from head to feet, holding, breathing out from feet to head, holding up. So I'm going to let you all go and really enjoy your relaxes and try to relax for at least a good 10 minutes or maybe even longer. Enjoy. And I'll